Jess. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to talk about something not quite as scientific and a little bit um, closer and more personal with me. But I'm hoping when I share and give witness to the things that have happened in my life, it will give you guys permission to do the same and also understand yourself a little bit better and kind of achieve your dreams because that's all while we're here, right? We're all, we're all here to uh, make a difference in the world and uh, find our passion and share it with the world, right? So today's video is entitled How My, Bre my Breakdown Led to My Breakthrough. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is how when you hit rock bottom, you're cracked open. And when you're cracked open, that's when the light can enter. So although we dread, we, us humans will do anything to avoid pain, anything to avoid a negative situation, a confrontation. And although those are painful and no fun for anyone, sometimes the best learning experience is when we're forced to look from a different perspective. We hit rock bottom and at that point we're a little desperate and uh, we feel broken so we look for ways that we may not have thought about before and how to mend ourselves together again and that's the beauty of a failure as if you will but that's really perspective and failure doesn't necessarily have to be negative it doesn't necessarily have to destroy us it can be a springboard onto our next level where we can become a successful entrepreneur or a doctor or a some sort of healer or a creative visionary whatever you guys want is within your fingertips and I just want to give you the permission to to own that because in my own life what I can say is I've not been scared of my darkness um, or what's necessarily wrong with me or taboo in society it's been more afraid of my light and my potential and my greatness and what if I get there and I fall what if I get there and people criticize me um, you know do I really know who I am and what I represent and really uh, what that means is standing in your own power in your own light and some of us will say, well, who am I? Who am I to show up and teach? Who am I to show up and, uh, you know, be great? Who am I to stand in this role and, and while everyone else is trying to figure it out? You know, these are the thoughts that go through our head. Well, you know, you didn't come here to work nine to five job, pay bills and die. You didn't come here to um, live the same day over and over and call it a life. You came here to be great. And that's what this is all about. How can you break through those barriers? And what I want to tell you guys is there, there's a book that I love. It's called The War of Art. And it's a beautiful book about resistance. And that's what most of us deal with. We come up with excuses every day not to take the first step. We look at this huge picture of what we want. You know, I want to be a healer, right? What does that take? It takes a lot of work. And instead of looking at how to change small, little, minute changes throughout our day, um, each day, we, we put this whole large responsibility right on our shoulders and think that we have to change overnight. So none of us take the first step. None of us will, will ever go there because it's such a daunting task, right? So instead, that's resistance. And resistance will come into your life at any point that you are almost about ready to have a breakthrough. Resistance will be in the form of friends who want you to come out and drink. They'll be in the, in the form of extra hour of sleep in the mornings on Saturday. It will come um, as procrastination. It will come as um, maybe a significant other or a new boyfriend and girlfriend. Whatever your dreams are, life will give you a curveball to see how bad that you want it. And it's up to you to say, this is my duty. This is my mission. You know, but you might say, Dr. Jess, how do I get there? I don't even know what I like. Well, that's for you to decide. And I must say in my own life, you know, in 2012, at the end of, end of 2012, during my awakening, you know, my husband left me. I was publicly humiliated. I fell on my face. I was angry and envious of a lot of people and didn't know what I wanted in life. All I knew is that I was a doctor, but it didn't feel healing to me or any of my patients. Um, so I made changes and I would hit rock bottom first. And that's what it takes. It takes you um, seeing a different perspective and changing who you are, saying, you know what, maybe I'm the asshole here. Maybe I'm the one who made the mistake. Maybe I should be accountable because no matter what situation you're in, you attracted it to yourself for most part. Uh, for the most part, you attracted it. That vibration brought people to you or things to you. And you must learn to stand in your own power and say no. Say no to things that aren't okay. Say um, yes to things that feel good. And don't compromise your beliefs. Don't sell your soul out for things that don't feel good to you. So if you want a different job, if you want a different career, if you want to ignite your life, I'm going to give you a few pointers here that helped me. Number one, there's something called evil heroes or situations in my opinion. So, you know, I've had an ex who had a business together with that fell apart and I was left in a lot of business debt. So, you know, I've had people who've broken my heart before and they seem so awful and mean and horrible, but really they taught me through pain. 
and I'm stronger for it. And although I don't wish that upon anyone, you do have to look at situations differently. Anything bad or good that happens to you, ask what am I supposed to be taught in this situation? What am I supposed to learn? Because if you don't learn, those lessons will keep circling around like the eye of a tornado over and over until you get it. And no one wants that. Number two, you need to open your heart to internal guidance. And that means, you know, we live in a very patriarchal and left brain society, patriarchal and masculine society that is doing, 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 doing. Well, that's great, but you're a human being. You're not human doing. So at some point you need to sit in silence and let the feminine or matriarchal side of, ener of all energy that exists talk to you. And that's, this, in the stillness you can find answers. You can find your higher self. There's a little voice inside that says, go for it, girl. Get it, you know, do it. It doesn't matter what other people think. You have to care about other people, but you don't have to care what they think. And listen to that voice because you are supported. The universe is conspiring in your favor for what you want. You must only believe in yourself and take that first step. Don't make any more excuses for what you want out of life. Number three, you have to figure out what you love and what your passion is. Because again, I really feel as though we are here to figure out what we love, what our passions are, and share it with the world. That's our duty. And so, what do you do on your spare time? When you're not working, when you have free time, are you writing? Are you making videos? Are you lecturing? Are you drawing? What are you doing? What makes you happy? Helping other people? How can you be in service? What are your talents? And it doesn't matter how much money those talents make because you're creative visionary and all you have to do is do what you love and the money will come so figure out what that next step is for you and you really have to sit in silence and know yourself to understand your passions and your true love and then when you find that it will be very easy to leverage that into a host of different creative endeavors that you can come up with you must only first take that first step if you don't know how to do it call look it up don't give up on your dreams. And finally, I want you guys to know that I really feel like you can make the most of the world and be in the most service to the world by uh, making the most of yourself. So that way, that's what the biblical text and the religious text mean when they say let your light shine. When someone is empowered and they have stepped out of whatever their mental prison is that has kept them oppressed, you will notice their light. You'll be intrigued, you'll be inspired by how they did it. And so that's your job, to find out what you love and share it with the world so others can be inspired and step into their own light. And so I hope this video has helped you guys kind of realize that you are more powerful than you know and that your creative endeavors and dreams matter and you can do it. So I love all you guys, thank you.